Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, or oh, welcome back. Um, I'm going to run through my melting box for the week, so everything I've picked for the week starting mm, 3rd of May, I want to say. Yeah, that sounds about right. Um, I'm so losing track of days and this week went so fast. I can't believe how fast this It literally feels like I only just recorded my melting box for the week, like a couple of days ago. So um, yeah, I'll... I'll get stuck into it. I'm sitting in the dining room and even though we've got the heater on I'm kind of freezing my butt off here. Um, the weather's gotten very very cold here in Melbourne so um, so yeah um, as usual I know I explain this every week it's a big box it's a lot of stuff um, I'm trying to pick at the moment basically I pick for eight days worth um, reason being so that I've got a bit of choice within my box to mix things up a little bit. I always have a bit of leftover of course if you pick eight days for a seven day week um and then I just pick with those you know some of those scents I'm, I carry over to the following week some of them I just I put back it depends on sort of how I'm feeling so um yeah so that sort of explains the quantity if anyone was sort of wondering so all right start with clamshells I usually start with clamshells um so this was a carryover from last week so this is uh pumpkin parcel scents leo so I know this one's like bamboo and citrus and things. It does occasionally, it does give me a slight sort of metallic-y scent. I think it's the citrus in it. Um, but I have melted it before and I liked it. That was in my melting box for this week, but it got colder than I was expecting it to. Um, like we have more cold days and really cold days. So um, yeah, that's why that one I didn't end up getting to. I've been leaning into bakery and very kind of cozy scents this week. Uh, I have Super Tarts La Push, so Raindrop, Sage Leaf and Orange Peel. haven't tried this before. It does smell really good though, and it smells like one that kind of I could do any season. Like it's the Sage Leaf kind of, and the Raindrops kind of give it a, you know, cooler weather vibe, but the Orange also brightens it up, so I think that one's quite versatile. I'm really looking forward to this one, Super Tarts Fairy Dust. Fresh balsam raspberry and cake batter. Again, once upon a time, never would have gone near a, something with notes like that. But I learned that Brandy's unusual combos really work. Um, and this smells... I'm almost tempted to pull this one out for this for tomorrow. I've got um, to melt Saturday morning. So tomorrow morning I've got Teddy Bee's Christmas Trees and Cream, which is like pine and cream and thing. And that smells amazing. And this actually smells like it could go really well in other rooms of the house. Like kind of, you know, maybe a bit complimentary to that. So maybe I'll actually pull this one and melt it tomorrow instead of um, in this box. So I'll, I'll have a think about that. Uh, Super Tarts Galadriel. As always, loads of Super Tarts because I'm just sort of trying to try everything in my stash. And also just I've got so much Super Tarts I really need to be... Um, you know, working, try to work through it as much as I can. So sea salt, wood, cane sugar, sage, and Sorrento lemons. So this one's very clean lemon. Yeah, very clean lemon and a bit sea salt, sea salty. So I think that'll be nice. Um, I've always said that heavy bakery like this one, um, I need you know, real cold weather for to enjoy and that's where we're at at the moment. So I thought this is a good chance to give uh, Festival of Lights a go. So uh, pecan, rugelac, cookies, uh, challah bread, brown sugar and cinnamon. This one is like, this is the definition to me of like heavy bakery. Like it's just, like it's spicy and it's pecan-ish, pecan I don't know. Anyway, so... I feel like I will actually enjoy that this week. There's other times where I've met, would have, you know, that it that type of bakery, you know, it I really really have to be in the mood for is what I'm trying to say there. Um, and hope I think with the cooler weather, um, I'm definitely sort of reaching for more kind of comforting bakery blends. So a favourite of mine, um, King Joffrey. So sweet wedding cake and ceremonial pie. It has such a strong berry note to my nose. 
I know it's not cold out in the notes, but I get a really strong berry note off that and it smells amazing. Um, other ones I've got, so Slytherin, honey, blackberry, honeydew, sorry, blackberry and white tea. So this smells really nice, like a really nice fresh melon tea. Kind of like a, like a bubble cup type tea. Um, Pet Cemetery. So I melted this the other week. I decided I've got a couple more, so I'll finish it off. Um, this is really good weather for it. So brisk, um, brisk morning. Hello, morning dew fall leaves. Brisk air, morning dew fall leaves and warm amber and dirt. I really enjoy this as a leaves blend, as a dirt and leaves blend. Like some can be very dirty, but this is. It's definitely got dirt to it, but it's just a nice leave scent so i actually think come when this returns i think it actually did just return in a um pre-order but i decided not to order but i think um possibly in the lead up to halloween i might order some more of that to be ready for next next autumn uh punisher so the omen blended with uh tobacco leaf i nearly i enjoyed this one and then for some reason i nearly purged it and then i had a sniff of like stashed it and then I had a sniff of it I was like no I actually quite quite like the apple sweetness and stuff of this so I'm gonna melt that again this week and just you know see how I feel one lonely little cube of Blair Witch so definitely clearing this one out so four leaves lemon marshmallow cream and a hint of salted caramel this one hasn't been a favorite of mine a bit it's okay I don't love it I don't hate it it's very caramelish to me caramel and lemon um, yeah, the, like the full leaves and the marshmallow are there, but they're not as strong. Um, it's not a terrible scent, but yeah, it's just not one that's, you know, that really grabs me. Um, Nova Prime. So bakery shops, lemon meringue and blackberry cream. I really do like this one. It is popular for a reason. Um, yeah, it's just beautifully sweet and lemony and blackberry and just all sorts of good things. Uh, I think those are that's all for the Super Tarts clams. Uh, other clams I've got. I've got a lot of clams this week for some reason. Uh, so Baby Got Wax, a lychee and black tea. I realise that this one's getting on in age and I haven't even started it yet. Um, I really wish she'd filled the clams though. Like, look at that. Um, this is a really nice iced tea scent. I really do enjoy that one. I've melted it before in like a shop pot. Carryover from last week. Uh, so this is like a seaside blend hideaway cove from Sense by Sarah. It's actually really nice. So the only reason I didn't get to this this week was because it's kind of, it's not really one I want in colder weather and the weather definitely got cold. Pumpkin parcel. I picked a few from pumpkin parcel this week. Uh, so forks. Um, this one. This one has an interesting kind of smell to it. Like, it's definitely like chill, like chilly, foggy, mountainside type scent. It's kind of manly-ish. And, yeah, it does remind me a bit of a manly cologne. So, um, that's kind of nice. These two I think I'm going to do together. So, uh, pumpkin parcel, I got some salted caramel which smells exactly like salted caramel. I wouldn't melt that on its own. Um, but I'm going to blend it with some of this fresh pear, which smells quite nice and juicy. So those two together hopefully go well. And uh, maple and wattle, Becky's Tea Party. I literally just jumped off getting um, stocking up at her restock. So um, I actually forgot, but thankfully I'm pretty sure I got everything that I was aiming to get this week month whatever monthly she has monthly restock so this one's funny this one i'm getting kind of like a candy cherry kind of a bit like um i don't know if i'm gonna like it it's sort of like a candy cherry i'm almost getting my words are failing me um like antacid vibes I don't know, like quickies vibes. That's weird. That's a bit of an odd one. Um, 
Let's see, I don't know how how that will go, but let's let's try. Uh, trying to work out where to go next. Um, so I've got sniff my tarts, uh, birthday cake, lemon cheesecake, lemon meringue pie, and peaches and cream. This is a brand I got a mystery. Um, not a mystery, sorry. I bid it on one of her um, lots. And look, this brand hasn't really worked well for me. I got three cents. This is the only one I've kept. And even then, it's kind of so. So the wax really doesn't perform very well in my home. So I've de stashed the others, the other scents I got, because I really, one of them just didn't throw and one of them I didn't like the smell of. Um, this one I like, but yeah, it's not the best performer. So I sort of want to you know, use that up, I think. Not that I will this week, but you know, at least be picking it so I do get to get through it. Picked a favourite because I've got so much of it, I really need to be melting it regularly. Um, the Huntress, so from Empire Alchemy. So pear, pomegranate, blood orange, pine, wood, smoky marshmallow, patchouli, black pepper, and vanilla. So this is like a really fruity blend with Lord of Mist Rule, and I love it. It's so good, but I've got a whole other bag after this one so I really need to make sure I'm you know I don't I don't want to be holding on to bags and bags of one scent and find out that they you know have them lose all their scent at some point so I just want to keep melting um candles from the keeping room earl grey and apple so this is a really nice scent and I thought this would be a good pick for pick for the autumn weather that we're having at the moment god these bags are noisy to open um, mm, that's very, it's definitely, it's a very spicy kind of apple. I don't actually get a real keen vibe off this scent, I will say. I get more, yeah, kind of spiced up apples. Okay. I forgot her bags are hard work. <laughs> All right. Uh... So this one um, I'm getting because she's put it on her. I'm placing an order with Tea Time Tarts on her um, for her poured. She does poured to order now. Um, and she's putting this on her list from tomorrow. And it's one of my favorites. So I'm grabbing some. Uh, Deadwood, which is mahogany woods, hollywood, driftwood, rich vanilla, and sandalwood. I love this one. It is just... Uh, just the most beautiful blend of woods I think I've ever smelled. It is so good. I've got uh, Handworks Pergola, so green apple shrub, last of the Aragola lettuce, um, freshwater moss, sandalwood and shea, mint and palo santo type. This is a really good palo santo blend. It's that mint, I think, that makes it, and the greenery with the palo santo smells very, very nice. So I'm um, looking forward to melting more of that. Uh, Teddy Bee's Cinnamon Toast, so brown sugar cinnamon, uh, buttery pastry dough, and vanilla buttercream. I think I picked this one to melt, melt at the same time as Festival of Lights. It's definitely more kind of cinnamon than Festival of Lights, but um, it kind of has that same heavy quality to me. I'm hoping this one goes okay, because I will say sort of pastry dough and brown sugar blends haven't been... I uh, haven't really been enjoying them much. They're not my type of bakery, but that one smells okay on cold, so I'm hopeful. Uh, here we go. Um, Rainbow Melts Zombie Juice. So this is Honey Pear Cider Type. I've never melted Honey Pear Cider Type on its own. I can't say on cold that I care for it that much, but I want to give it a go. This was a mystery box item. Um... Empire Alchemy Vanilla Pine Cones, cute little layers. Uh, Vanillary type roasted pine cones and Santal. Uh, this is actually a really nice creamy and outdoorsy scent. And I've been living for creamy and outdoorsy scents at the moment. So, um, you know, even marshmallow notes and things with outdoor scents like crazy about beach nights and this one is kind of in that same family so I think it's a really good time for me to melt that one um another one that kind of fits into that family although it's a different scent I don't know how this label got cut it wasn't originally cut um 
So Ebony Violet by the Campfire. So Blackberry Mellow, Tobacco Flower, Whiskey and Cocoa, Marshmallow on top of a crackling of on top of crackling sandalwood with amber and patchouli. I love this scent. I've melted it before. Such a cute loaf too. Look at that. Um it's just marshmallow like all of those notes are there it sounds kind of crazy but my goodness it works it smells so good it's just rich and just a hint of cocoa that blackberry merlot really comes out yeah it's just so good love by the campfire it's a single oil believe it or not too um like it's not a house blend but I think I've heard some vendors sort of claim that scent as, you know, not claim, but you know what I mean, like put it in and just use the notes and give it a name and, you know, people have thought that it was like a house blend because it sounds like it would be a house blend, but it's not. Um, this one, I don't like the smell on cold, but it smells all right melted, so um, sort of have to remind myself to reach for it. Uh, Handworks Ground Yourself, which is coriander and Tonka and Paleo Santo. I think it's that really herbal kind of coriander that is off-putting. Oh, it's actually not so bad this time. I don't know. It's kind of clean smelling. I feel like it came over too herbal last time I was having a sniff, but actually that's not too bad this time. Funny how noses change. Uh, I'm going to use this last piece of Maple and Wattle Your Hair is Winter Fire. So this is a very sort of spicy freesia scent. I really like that one. Um, Waxidents, Palo Santo type, Satsuma and Blue Sugar type. Um, this is a like a custom mini loaf thing. Oh, stop knocking my phone. And it smells really good. I love mandarins and oranges and stu stuff with blue sugar. Those are the main things that are coming out on cold, but I think the Palo Santo will pop. Palo Santo usually pops out more when you warm it. Um, tea Time Tarts Coconut Bikini. Creamy coconut with notes of sea salt and ocean air. So another one where I'm going like ocean, outdoorsy and then creamy. Granted, not a marshmallow creamy. It's coconut creamy and a super cute stroop waffle. I love these things. That smells quite nice. I think the weather is going to get a little bit nicer towards the end of the week. So that's when scents like this will probably be useful. Uh, dee, dee, dee. I've got Sweet Sage Scents, Silver Birch Wood, Vetiver, Sandalwood, oh, Christmas Tree. This one mostly comes across as Silver Birch and Vetiver, which isn't a problem for me. I love Silver Birch and Vetiver. But yeah, I don't really get much Sandalwood and I think oh, Christmas Tree is just a hint. Um, carryover from last week, Rose Girls Sunset in July. I definitely wanted, you know, some, it doesn't have to be warm weather, but not not freezing cold for this. So that's why that one didn't get melted this week, because that's definitely a, you know, summer days type blend. Um, I've got Waxidents Bunny Burps, so that's Garden Greens, Spring Flowers, Sandalwood and Musk. This is actually a very nice, I picked it because it's a good quantity for me to finish off. And it's a bit over a year old now. This is actually really nice. I was surprised by how much I enjoyed that floral melting. It didn't seem like it would be my type of floral, but I really did enjoy it. Uh, gonna use up the last of this pumpkin parcel, the undead. So this one is a floral. It's like got roses and there's a whole bunch of stuff, but it really reminds me of like it's got incense, I think, as well, and it does remind me of a real kind of floral incense scent. Super strong. It's kind of old crumbly wax. Um, smells amazing. And, yeah, like I said, super, super strong. Uh, got some Empire Alchemy Woodland Tree White Currant and Vanilla Lace type. I wasn't sure about this one because I'm I've had a few blends that I didn't like vanilla lace in. But it actually smells really pretty. I think it's the white currant. It smells really pretty and fresh. So I'm looking forward to that. Uh, so handwork sample. This is frosted juniper trees with oud wood and musk. Um, this is a really nice 
it's mostly that frosted juniper trees, like that frosted kind of wintry tree. Um, so it's good weather for that now, I think. Um, I've got, I have picked a couple of Mad Sense shots, so black currant and rose. Can't really talk about the smell because these bags are no good to get things out. And orange and bergamot. Um, so she does pretty good scents. Uh, I've got a maple and wattle peach coke. So I was intrigued by this. I've been dabbling with coke scents. I don't dislike them as much as I thought I did. So I thought I'd give this a go. Um, mm -mm. Just a one-off piece of uh, Rose Girls Florida Key Lime Pie. And then some shots. So this one, carryover from last week, Swanky Pear Pomegranate Cider. Um, I'll melt this at the same time as the Honey Apple Cider. I actually like, I think that's a much nicer cider scent than the Honey Pear Cider. Um, but, you know, we'll see. Um, black Tea Oud. This is a really strong pipe smoke and black tea scent. I really enjoy it, um, but it's quite intense. It is good for this kind of weather, though. Um, it's very nostalgic, too. It actually kind of reminds me of one of my grandfathers. I don't know why, because um, he didn't smell like it, any of those things, but there you go. Uh, again, another leftover from this week, uh, Ella Rose from Ella After Wax Co. Lemon, vanilla, white pepper, rose milk, and cashmere. This, this scent intrigues me, but there's something about it that there's a note to it that smells kind of sour to me, so I'm hoping that that yeah, I don't know. It smells good and then it smells sour. So I'm hoping it doesn't sort of play out the sourness when I melt it. I did carry over a few from last week. So Meraki, um, bergamot, corn mint, rosemary, coconut, star anise, cedar woods and island blossoms. Um, this one's a bit funny because it's a bit mintish and rosemary for me. But we'll see how we go. I think that's why I didn't pick it this week. Uh, Dessa's Homespun Scents Apple Zucchini Bread. Um... It's a really good question as to why I didn't end up melting this last week because I really wanted to. Because it smells like a really good apple zucchini bread. So maybe I'll do that on Sunday. Haley's comment. I've only got a couple more shots left. Well, three after this. Cantaloupe, strawberries, guava, rosemary streaks, mint and rock sugar. I think I picked this one to melt at the same time as that Ella after in a different room. This one smells so good. The guava and the rosemary and the mint together, they're just an amazing combination. K's Black Friday, so blackberry, buttermints, palo santo and marshmallow fireside. I mostly get the mint off this. I mean, it's not just a mint scent, but that's the main thing that stands out. So I'm curious to see how that goes when I warm it up. Ebony Violet's Black Avelli, so oud wood, rose water and musk. I think I've covered this in a couple of videos now it smells really nice I like that sort of it's a softer sort of oud wood blend so I should just melt it and finally Dio and Turner snowed in I couldn't tell you what this is but it smells nice kind of floral but it's, a, it's quite perfumish but it's nice okay uh, that's everything that is my melting box for the week um so as always thank you so much for watching please subscribe if you like my videos um and i'll talk to you all again soon bye